Hey everybody, this is Mitchell Dumoulin and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your camera with some really easy steps. So when you take out your camera, you really have to focus on three simple settings. Really it's the ISO, your iris or your aperture, and your shutter speed. Now your ISO controls the brightness of your camera. If you have a low ISO, you're gonna have less grain and less noise. The higher the ISO, you're gonna get a lot of grain and a lot of noise. But when you have a low ISO, it's darker. When you have a higher ISO, it's brighter. What's the difference? Well, if you have a very dark situation and you bump up the ISO, it's bright, but you're gonna have a lot of noise and you're gonna have a lot of um, grain. You don't want that. So you have to balance it out with your shutter speed and your f-stop. And so the way that you do that is that you look at your situation, you look through your camera, you figure out how bright you want it. You look at the exposure meter. You'll see it at the bottom, it has plus three or minus three and then the zero. You wanna to try to aim for the zero. And so with the ISO, you tend to wanna to have it below 800 ISO. Above that, you start getting some grain. So what I like to do is start off at 800 or 400 and then you work with the shutter speed and the aperture or the f-stop to compensate. So what I do is that I will put it in ISO 400 or 800 if it's really dark, and then I will look at my shutter speed, and the shutter speed is pretty consistent. You want it to be at 50 if you're shooting in 24 frames per second, or at 60 if you're shooting at 30 frames per second. And if you're going at slow motion at 60 frames per second, you wanna shoot it at 120 um, shutter speed. What, why that happens is because the shutter is going half the speed as your frames per second, so you wanna double your shutter speed uh, when you have your frames per second figured out. So 24, 48, or 50, 30 frames per second, 60, 60 frames per second, 120. So you know that your frame rate is gonna be 24, so you put it at 50 uh, shutter speed. Now your ISO now is at 400 or 800. You don't wanna go past 800. So what happens if it's too grainy or uh, you don't wanna go past uh, 800 or 1600 and it's um, still dark, it's all up to your f-stop or your iris or your aperture. So depending on your lens, you either have a manual um, lens where you would have to open it up on your lens itself or it's gonna be on your camera. Most of you probably have a, a camera where you can open up the iris or the f-stop on the camera as an automatic or a, dry, or a dial, but a lot of you cinematographers out there probably have a prime lens where you can do it manually. So what you wanna do is figure out if you need to go fully open, so the f-stop number is gonna go down. Now your lens might have an f2.8, that means it'll only go out down to 2.8. If you have a prime lens, it might go down to f 1.4, that's what you call a fast lens. If you have a zoom lens, sometimes you have, uh, when you zoom in, you would have a f5.6, and when you zoom out, you have an f4.0. That means when you zoom in and out, sometimes the brightness is gonna change. That's why you wanna get a lens or a zoom lens that has a consistent f-stop. And so, usually out there, you have a 18 to 35, 24 to 70 at an f2.8. Try to go for those, because then if you zoom it in and out, it's not gonna change the brightness. So when you have an open iris or a low f-stop number, you're gonna have a shallow depth of field. What that means is that the foreground is gonna be in focus, the background's gonna be out of focus. Some of y'all like that uh, look, and I like that look, but it all depends on how bright you want it. That's why when you do shoot outside, you're gonna need a thing called an ND filter so that you could basically uh, uh, stop down or make the image a little darker, and you can actually put your um, aperture a little bit slightly higher so that you're not always dealing with shallow depth of field. So what that means is that as you close your iris and make it a little bit darker, your depth of field is gonna start getting deeper. So that means that things are gonna start getting in more focus. So if I'm at a four to a 5.6, your subject is gonna be in focus in a larger range, like back here and over here. If I was at f1.4 or 2.8, I'll be focused right. I'll be in focus right here, but out of focus here, and out of focus back here. Reason that's why that's why it's the reason why it's important is that if you're doing a vlog and you're at an f1.4 and you're trying to you know uh, move around and show something, you're gonna get out of focus if you just move front and back. And if you wanna be uh, basically in focus most of the time, you should be over uh, F4.0. Now, 
I know there's a lot of stuff to take in right now, but we really should just focus on is on your ISO, make sure that it's not grainy, so keep it under 800, and you wanna make sure that your shutter speed is twice your frames per second, and then you wanna look at your aperture or your iris or your f-stop and determine whether or not you want it brighter or darker, and remember that if it's a lower number or an open iris, you have a shallow depth of field, and if it's a higher number with a more closed iris, you're gonna have a more deep depth of field. All right, that's a lot for today. Hopefully that makes sense. Just remember, you don't want a lot of grain, so you wanna keep that ISO down, and you wanna have the depth of field you want, so you're gonna be in focus all the time. Thanks for watching. My name is Mitchell Diemlau, and I'll see you in the next video.